All right. I hope you tried this problem, finding the limit as x gets closer to 4 from both directions and figuring out what g of 4 is. I don't think we need to draw the vertical line this time. I think we can just follow the cursor. Let's start with the limit as x goes to 4 from the left. Here is the x value of 4. As I travel along the graph towards the x value of 4, notice that from the left, it looks like I'm approaching a y value of 10. So from the left, it looks like I'm approaching that point, which is a y value of 10. From the right, it looks like I'm also approaching that y value of 10. In other words, I'm approaching 10 regardless of which direction I go to. Now, that is going to mean that the limit as x goes to 4, regardless of direction, is 10. One last thing. Notice that when you plug in 4 into the function, you do not get a 10, but rather you get an 8 because the closed circle is at the point 4, 8. We also have an open circle at point 4, 10. Let's write that down so we have it written down. So from the left, as we approach and get closer to an x value of 4, our y value gets closer to 10. As we approach from the right and our x value gets closer to 4, our y value gets closer to 10. The way we write that is that the limit as x goes to 4 from the left is 10. Limit as x goes to 4 from the right is 10. And because they're the same, that means the limit, regardless of direction, is 10. Lastly, remember that g of 4, that's where the closed dot is. And the closed dot, or the filled in dot, is at the point 4, 8. So g of 4 is actually 8. This problem, as we can see, has a limit. Whereas our previous problem, when we looked at going to 2, did not have a single limit. It had a limit from the left, a limit from the right, but they did not match up. This one our limit from the left and our limit from the right match up.